Yo, what's happening guys? Konechi today with something I'm super excited about, the all new Down for Sound JP40 lithium battery. But first, my name is Jonathan Price, owner and operator of downforsoundshop.com and this YouTube channel, which is two of the fastest growing things in car audio. If you will, hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you know every time we drop a video and you'll get it sent to your inbox and you'll be able to check it out first. All right, so let's get into this battery. Again, I'm super excited about this. We've been working on this for two to three years because of this battery right here. If you do not know about the Down for Sound LTO 6.0, this is it right here. Super small, compact, but very powerful. Tons of people have used this and loved it, but ever since we came out with it, people were asking, are you ever gonna come up with something bigger? So the answer is finally, yes. We've been doing a bunch of testing and uh, trying different things and coming up with something that you see in front of us, which is the JP40 lithium battery. This is actually two of them, obviously. And you may see that it looks different than anything that you have ever seen for a battery. It's what, well, me anyway. I don't know if anybody's ever made a battery look similar to a amplifier. We have the Down for Sound amplifiers here, the JP23 and the JP234. So you can see how similar they look, which they're very similar, right? This is actually smaller than the JP234. You can see it's about two inches shorter. So we're gonna go over all the specs. I have a little sheet right here so I don't ramble too much and I get you all the information that you're gonna want for this product. So the first thing people wanna know is how much does it cost? The JP40 is gonna come in at a very price friendly $999. This is going to include shipping inside the US. So this is the smallest, most compact, lightest weight, 40 amp hour battery on the market. So you can see how small it is. And if you want to expand them out, you can do that infinitely, however wide your vehicle is. And if you wanted to do another row, or if you just wanted to do two packs like this, you could build like a little wooden thing like that and put another two pack up here. You can stack them up vertically if you would like. It's totally up to you on your expansion of these. So we're gonna go over, again, I have the cheat sheet right here so I don't ramble too much. We're gonna go over the wattage rating first. So we rate this battery from 6,000 watts to 12,000 watts. The little brother right here is 3,000 watts to 5,000 watts. Again, this varies uh, depending on your alternator input. So we're gonna go over 120 to 160 amp alternator, if you have that as a factory or if that's somewhere where you're at for a factory alternator, which is pretty typical on a some sort of truck, uh, you're gonna have a 6,000 watt rating. If you bump it up to a 240 to 270 amp alternator, you're gonna be between six and 8,000 watt rating. You bump it up to a 320 to 370 amp alternator, you're gonna be between eight and 10,000 watt rating. Then if you go with like say dual 240s or dual 370s, you'll be able to be between 10 and 12,000 watts on a single battery. So very powerful in the offering that we have here. Also the configuration, the chemistry is LFP and the configuration is 4S. So be sure you pay attention to our Facebook page. We do a ton of giveaways on there. I know I'm trying to do more giveaways here on my YouTube channel and I will in the future, but if you wanna join that one, we're gonna leave it going for, I think, uh, till the end of this week. So we'll put a link in the description so you, if you're on Facebook, you can go join that uh, giveaway. So uh, the next thing, uh, JP battery size is 10 and a half inches long. So you can see the length, 10 and a half inches long, eight and a half inches wide, and only three inches tall. So this thing has a very small compact uh, profile. You can put it under your seat. Very easy to put this thing almost anywhere because of the small footprint. Just like our LTO 6.0, we kept the sizing very small, but very powerful. So we try to keep the same um, bonus there for having a small footprint so you can fit them into tight spaces. Uh, the JP40 is the first in car audio lithium battery with an integrated voltage and temperature monitoring system. We'll put a, a picture up on the screen right now of what the monitoring system look, looks like. So if you look on the end of the battery right here, you'll see a remote control. Just like our amplifiers let me uh, flip this amplifier around just like the JP series of amplifiers has the input here for a remote control our batteries have it too I've never seen something like this as in a plug-in cable just like a base knob to give you your voltage readout of your battery temperature 
everything like that. It'll also notify you if you're outside of parameters, which if you're charging it too high, if your uh, voltage is too low, so you can be sure to uh, take the necessary precautions to get it back into a safe uh, operating range. So that's something that I've never seen before. We'll have those in stock. Uh, it's a $100 upgrade if you want to get that, but we'll have those in stock in about a month. You could always add it into it in the future because again, it's just like a base knob. If you've already had got the battery installed, you can come in and plug it in right here or over here if you just have a single one, you can plug it in there and run it up to the front and you'll know always know the way that your battery is performing in the back. So again, this is a 12 volt lithium battery. There's no voltage boosting necessary. So um, your factory charging voltage up to 14.8 is plenty. You do not want to go over 14.8 volts. You could damage the battery and, and or shorten the lifespan of the battery. So do not do that. Don't boost your voltage. Don't go above 14.8 volts. I'm telling you that. And also do not mix these batteries with factory batteries or AGM batteries. Don't mix these with that. You would be better off if you're going to do, there's going to be a lot of people asking this question. Can I mix it with this battery? Can I mix it with that battery? The best thing to do is delete your underhood battery and uh, do a, you could do a super cat bank, like a excess power, one of the SB series super cat banks that'll fit in your factory location. And then put one of these in the back or delete the one in the front all together and you can stack these batteries up in the back or add the cat bank in the back tons of different ways in doing it if you were to i know there's a lot of people that have the lto 6.0s that want to uh like integrate if they want to be adding more power say can i add a jp40 if i already have some lto 6.0s you could because they're a lot more similar on the voltage operating ranges but again optimal would be sell these and just get these just run these by themselves but if you're going to run another one with this one i would recommend like doing it that way don't use agm or like any type of stock lead acid battery under the hood don't mix them together so i told you it also has um onboard balancing so that takes the guesswork out of that it's a 40 amp hour battery and if so that equals 528 watt hours the next thing and the last thing that we're going to talk about is our bus bar system right here which makes them infinitely expandable so it looks like this i only put the negative on right here so the way that you would do this is say you have like seven i think there's seven holes one two three four five six seven so if you had like seven runs of ground the bottom is the ground you would put all the runs of ground on there and then you would bolt this like tighten them down really good if it was me i would put a piece of tape over the top to give you a little layer of protection but uh and then mount this on there like that same thing with the positive if you're going to add the positive here i would put a piece of tape on the bottom right here put all your positive wires in here stick it up there and bolt it down so you would have a heck of a charge bank coming off of here that'd be super awesome can't wait to see people putting two or four, six, eight of these things in their vehicle. It's going to be super awesome. I'm going to give them a ton of power, but this is a bus bar system. Uh, we're also going to have different busing options. So in case you have a single battery and you want to have more outputs than just the output studs that you see or plates that you see here, you'll be able to do like a, a two, three, and four spot just for a single battery. So it'll give you more options there. So be on the lookout. Oh, I didn't show you the back of them. In case you were going to mount them on their sides. Oh yeah, we went the extra mile. You know how down for sound does it. We're not leaving anything out. Just on, a, just like on our amplifiers, we got the clear plexi. It's not so exciting on the bottom of a battery like this. So we just did a really cool design for y'all. In case you're gonna mount them vertically like this, you could do that as well. Oh, I almost forgot the most important thing. Since I have my finger on the amplifier right here, holding it up by what? A mounting tab. One of the biggest complaints that people have about these batteries, the 40 amp hour like pre-made batteries, they don't have a way to mount them down. But check this out. You can do that with the down for sound JP40 because we have the mounting tabs. Just like an amplifier, you can mount it down right there. Super duper easy. You don't have to spend 50 or 100 bucks. I'm really excited about that. That was something that we threw in there that I'm like, 
That is genius. I think that goes over everything. We went over the sizing, different options for it. Um, comes with a standard one year warranty, 999 bucks. If there's anything that I missed, you know you can ask in the comments below and I'll try to check that out. And if we need to do a part two of this video, which I wouldn't think so, but if we see a bunch of questions coming in there and we can't just answer them in the comments section, then we'll do a part two video of the JP40 LFP 40 amp hour lithium battery i'm so excited about these these came out man they came out so nice i'm super excited about these but anyway thank you for watching the video we will see you in the next one and don't forget the downford sound difference guarantee lowest prices fastest shipping best customer service and we have four different types so same as cash financing on the website under the financing tab so be sure to check that out we'll see you in the next one later What's happening guys? If y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram under the Life of Price and also down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there so be sure to check me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.